Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be going over exactly what recursion is and how to use it in your Roblox games. Let's get started. First of all, what is recursion? Well, recursion is just the process of when a function invokes itself, yielding the code to run again. This is actually a type of loop, except it is not run or it's not set up in the traditional way that you might have a loop. We're going to be going over a very basic example using a sum function that pretty much just adds up numbers. Basically, we're going to have a start value, we're going to have a step value, and then we're going to have the number of times we want to do that and what it's going to do is just going to add them all up that many times and then return that value okay so to declare a recursive function what we're going to do is just declare it like any other function so i'm going to say local function sum and then we're going to say start number and then we're going to say step number and then we're just going to give it count so these are going to be the three numbers that we're going to need these are all going to be numbers so technically we could use type checking to declare them as numbers but we are just going to make it as simple as possible Okay, so the first thing we are actually going to do is make sure that our count is still greater than zero, because this is the amount of times that we want to do our calculation. So if we have zero times left, we don't want to do the calculation. And so we're just going to make a simple guard case at the top, saying that if count is less than one, then we're just going to return the start number. Okay, so next we're going to declare a variable. So we're gonna say local new number, and this is gonna be equal to the starting number plus the step number. Next, we're going to decrease the count variable by one, and then we're gonna return a value. Like I said, recursion is when a function invokes itself or calls itself. If you have to guess, what do you think we're gonna be doing in this case? And if you guessed call the function again, you are correct. Okay, so we're just gonna call sum again. And in this case, we're just gonna give it new number, step number, and then we're gonna give it the count. So let me go over this because if you've never seen recursion before, you might be a bit confused. So first off, we obviously declare this function. We give it a starting number, a step number, and then the count. Let me just refresh your memory on what these are. Starting number is pretty self-explanatory. It's just the number we want to start at. Uh, step number is the amount we want to increase the number by each time. And then count is just the amount of times we want to perform that action. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is check to make sure we do have a valid action left. And if we don't, then we're just gonna return the starting number. Then what we're gonna do is declare a new variable called new number, which is gonna be equal to start number plus step number. So again, this is just the basic action we are doing. Then we're gonna decrease the count by one to make sure that we aren't actually running this function indefinitely. This goes back up to over here because count is gonna be one less each time. And then finally, we're just gonna return that sum function again. But notice, we aren't inputting the start number because otherwise we just continue getting the start number every single time. You might be saying, well, we're returning the start number and that's okay because every time we run this function, we're actually inputting the new number. So that's the reason why when we return start number, we are actually getting the number that we've already done all the addition on. And so what we can do is we can pretty much just keep running this until we have a count variable that is zero. And we basically can just keep doing that in effectively creating a loop. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense. And then we're just gonna return the final value. So this is our final case right here. When this runs, our function is done. It will not run anymore. Our goal has been met. All of this is just continuing on the cycle of our function. So let's actually just make sure this works. So let's do a print. So we're gonna say print, and then we just give it sum, and we give it a starting number, I'm gonna give it zero. Step number, I'm gonna give it five, and then the count, I'm gonna give it four. Okay, so this should give us 20. Let's hit run, see what happens. 20, good. All right, so next what we're gonna do is just keep inputting values. I'm gonna input, I'm gonna give it five here, so this should give us 25. And there we go, 25. So it looks like our function is working. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, I could have made this function very easily using a for loop or a while loop or whatever you might use and produce the exact same result. And yes, you probably could. I mean, the thing is recursion is just a type of loop and it kind of is a more generalized loop in a way. That isn't to say that it's better than using a while loop or a for loop. In some cases, it's actually worse because recursion from what I've heard is actually slower than using a loop. So if you're doing anything performance heavy, you definitely should not be using recursion. At the end of the day, it's kind of up to you, the developer. One example of me using recursion actually was using a hex grid river generation system. So pretty much a hex grid would generate and then you would click on an individual tile and from there it would generate a river in a random direction. I'll leave a link in the description to a post that I made on the dev forum about this. I did make an alternative using loops 
However, the first version and the version that I posted to the dev forum was using recursion. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you need any help, join the Discord server. Link will be in the description to that. I guess that's that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.